Hi Libra, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your weekly love reading for November 6th through November 12th. This is intended to be a love reading for the sign of Libra. I only include this for sun signs and rising signs, and if you want to know why I don't include the moon signs, you can watch your my welcome video. This may or may not resonate, as it's for hundreds and thousands of people, and I wanted to um, lay out the cards, and I will zoom this in in just a moment. Now I want to remind you that this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot that is doing this recording. If somebody decides that they want to steal this video and it does not say Soul Source Tarot, then they have stolen the video, which has been happening quite a bit to me. Okay, so the basis of your reading is Five of Pentacles. This tells me that many of you are feeling insecure this week. You may feel like you're on thin ice. Um, maybe even regarding relationship, I think it is. There may be a third party situation that you are aware of. And it looks like um, perhaps there are some um, impulsive decisions or impulsive actions. There could be some vindictiveness. There could be some spitefulness because of it. It looks like there have been some obsessions and some controlling issues going on. Maybe you have been controlling or the other person has. It looks like things have been out of whack and it's time to get back control, take back control of your life. And you need to do that with faith and trust. Faith and trust that there is the such thing as true love. There is a new love. There is the possibility of a new love, okay? You need to have faith and trust in the future. I feel like many of you are feeling very insecure on the inside, feeling like you're never going to find that true love again, or you're never going to find true love, period, when the fact is, is that you will, you are. Um, all you need to do is take back control of your life, um, get your life back on track. I think many of you are doing that. Many of you have been involved in a third party situation, which has had made you lose your faith in love, okay? I think perhaps many of you have given more than the other person, and you feel like you're never going to get that relationship where um, you're, there's mutual respect and mutual love and mutual give and takes. So many of you are just feeling, um, oh, what is the word for it? You're feeling... gosh rejected okay you're feeling rejected you're feeling hurt you're feeling hostile okay it feels like something crashed down something ended in a relationship that has left you feeling you know very very hurt and cold cold-hearted you know and I think that you're really hoping to heal and I see that many of you are going through a healing process right now you're just like, you know what, it's time for me to heal, it's time for me to bring my happiness back, I'm looking for something new, and because you are manifesting this bright future, believe it or not, despite the insecurity, you're still thinking about love. Okay, you so there's there's conflicts here, there is absolutely some conflicts here, all right. Um, and insecurities, all right? So the thing is, is that you, it, it's time to get your life back on track. Many of you are doing that. You're bringing some balance back to your thoughts, okay? Despite a time of um, despair, of hurt, of loss, of rejection, 
okay? I think that you've decided that it's time to bring the happiness back and perhaps open your heart to somebody new. So perhaps many of you are have let something crumble. You've let something end, and that took courage, all right? That took, took strength and confidence and determination to let it end. But it looks like many of you have. You've just been like, you know what? It's over, okay? And when you do that, that's when you start to shine bright again. And it feels like because you do that, new love could be coming in, a new relationship. So I think you went through a period of feeling like, I'm never going to have this again. I'm never going to feel this again. You know, this is never going to happen again. But I think that that period is over and I think you're starting to see the light. I think that the light is starting to shine again. And I think that new love for some of you could be coming in after a time of insecurity. Now, that doesn't mean that you aren't still going to feel insecure because I think that you are. But I think that many of you are focusing your energy in a different way. Instead of thinking negative, you're thinking positive. You're thinking about the future instead of thinking, I'm never going to find this again. I'm never going to be loved like this again. I'm never going to love like this again. Okay? Whichever way it is. I think you guys are mastering your emotions. You're taking back control of your life. You're trying to bring back some security. You, you're feeling... Um, more stronger than you have in the past. I think some of your inner strength is coming back. Um, I think you're no longer ignoring situations. But this, this reading really tells me that you need to re continue to have faith and trust in the future. If you start to have these insecurities again, you need to replace those insecurities with faith and trust. So the minute you start to feel insecure in love where... I'm never going to get what I want. I'm never going to experience this love. I'm never going to be happy or whatever the case is. However it resonates with you, however it is that you're feeling negative, you need to replace it with faith and trust. Okay, we have all these twos. Two, two, two. That's faith and trust. It's also about changes and balance. Okay, we have balance up here as well. So I see that many of you are changing your thoughts from negative to positive. Okay, and you're releasing things that no longer serve you. You are letting things end that need to end. And because you are, it's bringing in blessings. Okay, so for many of you, you could have a new relationship on the horizon. Okay, another soulmate connection. So you're on the right track. You are on the right track. Um, I think you're definitely making progress. All right, you are. Um, I do think there's a soulmate connection here. But that soulmate connection could be what has crumbled down because it is connected to the tower. I mean, I have to tell you that it could be what crumbled down, but it brings you happiness that you let it go, believe it or not. Because that's, sometimes that's what happens when you have to let something go that you were connected to so deeply. It brings happiness in the end. Okay? It does. And there's the tower and there's the soulmate connection. But it brings happiness in the end. But the tower brings out something. So the thing is, is this can go two ways. This is for hundreds and thousands of people. Many of you are letting go of a soulmate connection. Because you have to bring the happiness back to your life. It didn't turn out the way you had hoped. Somebody went in a different direction. Made you insecure. They left and they, didn't, and they just didn't care about your feelings. Okay? So that's for one somebody. Okay? For another person that's watching this, this thing came crumbling down in a relationship. And it is a blessing in disguise because it brings in somebody new. Okay, that is going to make you even more happier. Okay, despite your thoughts that you were never going to find this again. Okay, if something else is going to come in. I see that you have made a lot of progress. I do. I do think that many of you are, are falling in love or somebody is falling in love with you. Okay, maybe it's you loving yourself. You've decided you're going to love yourself now. Like I said, this is for hundreds and thousands of people. This is the rods of love. 
It's also a fast moving energy. We have the moon here. This is the sign of Pisces, but it's also fears. Like I said, you need to replace your um, insecurities with faith and trust. You have to replace your fears with faith and trust as, as well. Okay, there's something going on behind the scenes that is probably working in your favor, believe it or not. Okay, that's what I think. It is bringing balance to your life, believe it or not. I think there's, there's external forces that are bringing some balance to your life after a time of insecurity. And despair. Security, despair, insecurity, despair, and dis depression. All right. I think many of you have closed the door. You have. You've let something end. Oh, two nines. You have. Many of you have ended a relationship or a connection. All right. You have. And it bring, brings you in another one. It really does. So, so if this hasn't happened yet, because time is fluid, it could have already happened. It could be happening this week or it could be happening in the future. Okay. I think many of you are, something has ended and it may have ended quite, um, hurtfully. Okay. It may have been brash. It may have been hurtful. It may have been, um, tough, really, really tough and really, um, caused you a lot of anguish, anguish, depression, and despair. It, and I think it probably ended harshly, okay? It left you feeling alone, left you feeling lonely, um, feeling insecure, feeling that you're never going to ever be loved like this again, okay? But the fact of the matter is, is there's something going on behind the scenes in your favor, believe it. Okay, I think you're about to have an awakening and I think it's going to bring you in a new love. Okay, I do. Happiness, all right, it's going to bring you love and happiness. Probably another soulmate, okay, because we have many soulmates in a lifetime. I feel like you really need to be grateful for all that you have right now. Don't open the door again. Lock the door, okay, lock the door. Um, because you can't keep going through this, okay? If you don't close the door for good, then this new love doesn't come in. That's why the tower is here, because it must crash down. It was a false foundation, okay? It needs to crash down so that you can learn to love yourself, and you can learn to have faith and trust, and so that you can get the best possible love that you deserve, Okay, I feel like there's a lot of forgiveness here and I think you need to forgive yourself. Okay, I think that you need to forgive yourself. You've done all that you can do. Okay, I think that you are about to get an awakening that will probably shock you because we have the we have the tower above that judgment card. It's going to put you in a different direction, okay? It's going to put your thoughts in a different direction. I think that for many of you that are watching it that have ended a relationship, you're probably thinking you're not going to be in a relationship for a long time. You're never going to find another one like this, you know? But I think it is. I think that's what's going to happen. I think somebody is going to come in and and change your, your life, okay? You're going to be feeling lonely. You're going to be feeling insecure. Or you are right now. You're feeling insecure. You're feeling lonely. You're feeling depression. You know, you're feeling like you're not going to be loved. But the fact of the matter is, I think you are going to be loved. I think the universe is on your side. And they're working behind the scenes in your favor. And they're calling for you to have faith and trust right now. You are making progress. You are. Don't look back. Don't reopen the door. You're making progress. Oh my goodness. Make a commitment not to open the door. I didn't read the card yet. I've never had this card yet in this deck. But this is closing doors, both of these. Nines are closing doors. It's time to move on. Okay? Time for closure. Time to move on. You've tolerated enough. That's what nines are. I'd use a lot of numerology. 
this card came up. Make a commitment not to open the door again. And that's when everything will change. This is a card from Archangel Michael. Make a commitment. Archangel Michael, as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. And this is the best card for you. I feel like many of you have closed your heart because of something that broke down. And you feel like you're never going to find love like this again. But the fact of the matter is you are. There is another soulmate that can bring a lot of happiness. Make a commitment to move on. With faith and trust. So Libra, this is what I have for November 2nd to November 6th. No, November 2nd to 6th. Where the, what the hell is that? From November 6th to November 12th. So for many of you, November 2nd to November 6th had an impact on you because that came up for a reason. Every single word that Soul Source Daryl says during her readings is meant for you. So I'll, again, this something between November 2nd and November 6th was prominent. All right? Many of you will probably watch this during that week. Okay. So either way, this is for November 6th through November 12th. But like I said, the time is fluid. Again, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. If you would like to hear more or know more about me, you can watch my welcome video. And um, I will talk to you next week.